hello guys assalamu alaikum welcome to my youtube channel so few days ago we created a diary application by using sqlite so some guys were requesting me to add state management into this application now in today's tutorial we will add state management into our existing diary application here you can see this is our diary application we already created a few days ago in this diary application we can add a note let me add a note here we can add a note let me give any uh, simple title and here a uh, description and when we click our button here the note has been saved now let me test it here you can see our note has been added but still it is showing empty and when we click refresh button then it will show the note because there is no state management inside our application so in this tutorial we will add a provider state management inside our application first of all uh, let me open browser and here we will search provider flutter here it will show provider package here you can see this is provider package we need to add this package into our application uh, if you don't know how to add a package inside our project here is given installing how to add there are two methods to add a package into any project first one is a command line method or terminal method otherwise you can just copy and paste into pubs pack file now we will add it by using cmd just copy it again and open android studio and here terminal inside terminal just paste it click enter it will add this package into our project now our package has been added successfully now let me show you our project files first of all there is a model folder models inside models there is only one node you can see here this is only one node uh, it includes id title description and created at date time this is very simple next one is a uh, repository repository here you can see we are using sqf lite inside our uh, project you can see here everything database name table name version number and query to create a table inside our sqf lite and in this way we can get instance of our database and here are functions to insert update and delete node into our table and this is get nodes function uh, we can get all the nodes by using this function and we are calling these functions directly from our screens here uh, you, if you see screens and inside add node you can see we are calling directly here you can see all the functions we are calling directly from our screens but now we will create providers here let me create a provider folder providers this is folder and inside this uh, let me create a provider uh, name it as nodes for example this is another directory nodes and inside this directory we will create a new dot file nodes provider like this now here we will create class nodes provider with change notifier with change notifier like this so this is the way we can create any provider first of all uh, we will declare an empty list of nodes uh, list list of nodes name it as nodes and it will be empty let me import this nodes now here we will create some functions insert update delete and get nodes first of all let me create get nodes this is a function get nodes async function by using this function uh, we will get our nodes nodes repository nodes repository dot get nodes and here we can assign these nodes into our nodes list because this function is async here if you open nodes repository 
here you can see get nodes this is async function and it give us list of node that is why we need to use here await keyword await now it will assign nodes into our nodes list but important thing is here we need to update the state in order to update the state we need to call here function notify listener here you can see not notify listener it will update the state so this is this line is very important notify listener if we don't call this function then our nodes will not update now here we will create another function to insert nodes insert async this is also an async function and uh, nodes repository dot insert here insert nodes we need to pass here node and we will give this node from here uh, required node and node simply and this is also an async function we need to call await and after this await function when our node will be inserted then we need to update this nodes because every time when we insert a node then our list should be updated on real time in order to achieve this goal we need to again call get nodes function here you can see get nodes function will update the nodes again so this is very important next function is update same like insert this is also an async function and here we need to call nodes repository dot update and here simply pass node and again we need to call get nodes because we need to update the state the last function is delete the same like above node node this is also an async function again the same like above nodes repository nodes repository dot delete simply pass the node and then again we need to call get nodes now our nodes provider is ready now simply we need to add this into our home screen and uh, let me open home screen if you see here uh, we are using a future builder inside our home screen now we will replace it with consumer we will choose here consumer let me replace it now here we will use consumer consumer and here we need to pass our provider name uh, our in our case this is nodes provider and here a builder and inside builder first parameter will be context second is provider and third one is child so if you have any issue uh, in provider you can see its official documentation so this is very easy this is simply here we need to return any widget on the basis of condition now here uh, this is provider by using this provider uh, let me show you provider dot here we can access everything inside provider here you can see we can uh, access list we can access all the functions here now here we need to return a list return a list view here we can use children's uh, by provider dot notes dot map here we need to pass item note and we can pass here e as note and dot to list so in this way it will show all the nodes inside provider in this list view i hope you all know how to use list view and for example our nodes list is empty this list is empty for example there is no node inside our list then we can use condition here uh, for example provider dot nodes dot is empty then we can show here empty const center text same like a previous empty and in else case we can return a list view 
so this is the way we can use consumer inside our home screen now before using this consumer we need to provide we need to provide this provider how we can provide this there are two ways to use provider in any application the first use is globally for example uh, we want to use any provider globally then we need to provide it before material app because we need to access this notes provider all over the app then we will provide here let me show you how here we need to use multi provider multi provider multi provider and here child will be material app and here we need to provide providers this is a list of provider for example our application have 10 providers we can pass all the providers here for now we have only one provider then we can use it here change notifier provider and here create and we can use nodes provider so this is the way we can provide any provider to our widgets so we can access this in all over the application now let me restart the application here you can see uh, there is no error it means it is working perfectly now simply we will add our provider into our add node screen let me open add node screen here you can see if you see here uh, there are three functions insert update and delete here instead of calling nodes repository we need to call our nodes provider functions here you can see functions inside nodes provider let me add remove it and simply we can call provider dot of context here we need to mention the name of our provider our provider name is nodes provider and after that here we need to listen false and then we can call our uh, functions so in case we need to call insert function here and simply we can pass not the same like this we can add update function provider dot of context before context we need to pass notes provider listen false dot update here we need to pass the note and in delete case simply provider dot of context before context notes provider listen false and here we can call delete function pass the note uh, widget dot note simply and we can remove it here if we want to get the result as boolean we can use here a future boolean and here we can return true because we want to exit uh, add node screen then node will be deleted like this and here we can use then then and then we'll give a result boolean true or false a boolean the same boolean that this function will return here you can see function will return true and we can get this value inside then and here we can give any name and here we can simply close our screen navigator dot pop and this is showing error sorry we need to give here listen false like this now everything is okay uh, let me restart application now let me add a new node a random node if i save this here you can see it is showing the nodes in real time and if i update my node let me open sample title this is my updated note now it will update in real time with state management here you can see without refreshing it is showing 
real time result updated result now we can remove this button because we don't need it more if you see here inside actions now we don't need this button we can add another note now it will update in real time here you can see it is showing updated values let me add padding in list view i just forgot here you can see inside list view let me add padding only uh, horizontally 15 now it is showing perfect now for example we want to delete this note click delete button and when click yes it will be deleted now you can see state management is working perfectly there is only one issue uh, if i restart the application let me show you no application has been started but it is showing empty there is no note because we don't call this function this function get notes we did not call this function that is why it is showing empty note no how we can call this function we can simply create constructor here a nodes provider nodes provider this is constructor and simply we can call get nodes inside constructor so we don't need to call this function our constructor automatically call it now if i again run it now this time you can see it is working perfectly so this is the way we can add provider into our application i hope you enjoy today's tutorial if you have any question in your mind you can ask in comment box or you can contact me directly on whatsapp okay good luck